welcome our all-star host, Pat Prescott. Good evening, everyone, and welcome for what promised to be an amazing night of music. I know, because I already saw the show. <laughs> but I got to tell you, about a year ago, when uh, Dave was working on programming for this cruise, they decided that they would do a tribute to Earth, Wind, and Fire. And as you all well know, since then, uh, we recently received the sad news of the transition of the incredible Maurice White, the founder of the group. Uh, who was really the brainchild of the whole thing. Someone who has left us so much incredible music. So I'd love for all of you to rise to your feet and join us right now in a moment of silence in memory of the great Maurice White. Thank you so much. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna celebrate the life and the music of Maurice White and Earth, Wind and & Fire. And there's an awful lot to celebrate. 20 Grammy nominations, six Grammy wins, including a Lifetime Achievement Award, and of course, two individual Grammys for Maurice White and for Philip Bailey. They sold over 100 million albums worldwide. Their music has reached every corner of the globe. And there's so much that we learned through that music. We learned what a kalimba was. We also learned how to really do a performance. When you see Dave Koz and all these great performers come across the stage, they've learned so much from Earth, Wind & Fire, from the lighting, the staging, the costumes, pyrotechnics, even levitation in the shows of Earth, Wind & Fire. But most importantly, the gifts they've given us, they've given to our hearts. Maurice White always said that he wanted to create songs that would bring light and love in a very negative world. And his dream was to create a catalog of music that would stand the test of time and that would inspire people for many, many years to come. He did it all. And we're gonna celebrate him tonight. I want you to get on your feet. Come on now, get on your feet. And get ready to celebrate Earth, Wind, and Fire.
music of Earth, Wind & Fire. Who tonight here grew up, has had all their albums? Who loves Earth, Wind & Fire in the house tonight? I think we can all agree on that one thing. They were, in fact, the first concert I ever went to. I was about 10 years old. I went with, with my, my brother and my dad to the uh, Forum in Los Angeles, and I was blown away as a young kid. That horn section, those big, huge, Rose, the spandex, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted to wear spandex tonight. For your benefit and mine, I chose not to do it. The pyrotechnics, the music, the celebration that all those guys had and put out on the stage night after night and are still doing it all these years later. Tonight is about the celebration of Earth, Wind and Fire. So let's have some fun. This is a song that was originally made famous by Lennon and McCartney, the Beatles. And when Earth, Wind & Fire took that song, got a hold of it, turned it upside down, had another whole huge hit with it. And uh, these two guys right here, Mr. Kenny Lattimore, Mr. Rick Braun, we played this all summer last summer on our tour together. And we're gonna play it for you right now. Here's Got To Get You Into Your Life. My life. Got to get you into my life, into my life. Yeah. Get you into my life, into my life. Got to get you into my life, into my life. Got to get you into my life, into my life. Got to get you into my life, into my life.
we're gonna have fun tonight. Just a hunch. Now, if you're looking for the reasons to the unanswered questions in your life, look no further than Mr. Kenny Lattimore. Kenny! Okay, I'd like to bring out the very amazing, this amazing player, very smooth, Mr. Michael Lington to join me in this song. Ready? Are you all ready?
give it up for the amazing Kenny Lattimore. Wow. If it looks like we're having a good time up here, I'll tell you, we really do. Are you guys enjoying yourself? Yeah. To be able to play these amazing songs, Earth, Wind and Fire, is just a pure joy for all of us. And um, by the way, I gotta tell you, you guys look absolutely beautiful tonight. I hope you're taking lots of pictures. So Dave asked me to, uh, uh, to vamp here while we get the keyboard set up, and uh, I can't quite understand why he would ask the Danish guy to come and do that, but, but he did. So right now, I'd like you to put your hands together for the amazing keyboardist, Keiko Matsui. Good evening, I'm so happy to be here. And uh, this song, for me, very special song because first time I played, performed, and did a tour with Philip Berry, I did this song. So, honor to be here. Thank you.
from Pear Tree Call, Nesta Tres. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Keiko Matsui. What an unbelievable pleasure and honor. This is truly a sacred moment of celebration, honoring the music and the life and the spirit of Earth, Wind and Fire and of course, Grace White. We continue on now with the one and only Miss Mindy Abir. <laughs>
just have to say, Earth, Wind, and Fire, to me, one of the most amazing bands that ever walked the planet. Uh, but for me, my first Grammy nomination came with the record I made with Dave Cause, Gerald Albright, and Richard Elliott, Summer Horns, and we were lucky enough to play the premiere show at the Grammys with none other than Verdeen White. He trotted on stage, Verdeen is the bass player if you don't know, uh, nine feet tall and weighs maybe 100 pounds. He's just so cool and his hair is flowing. And he literally, he bounded on stage with us. Just <laughs> what a moment of my life to share that with Earth, Wind and Fire. We didn't win the Grammy. I won that day though, because Verdeen White sat in with us. So it's my honor to introduce a friend and one of the best sax players to ever walk the planet, Kirk Whalum.
Thank you so very much. God bless you. Thank you. Ah, child is born with a heart of gold. And I got to tell you, I'm so grateful to know that Maurice had a vision for the way that the world really should be. Right? And you look around you and this is it. This is the answer. We are the answer. And I'm so grateful that I know there's some folks here that actually do believe that I am my brother's keeper. And I am my sister's keeper. And that's what Maurice believed. I happen to know that. I was privileged to get to know him pretty well because he's from my hometown. That's right. He was actually, he mo they moved to Memphis, my home, when he was about three. And uh, he sang in gospel groups until he was about 16, 17. And then they moved to Chicago. But I'm grateful that later on, I was privileged to work with him. He produced a couple of songs for me. And, and as well, he even sang background on one, on one of my songs. Can you believe that? <laughs> so, so that's a dubious distinction. But I got to tell you, he was an awesome producer as well. And I want to introduce to you one of my favorite producers. In fact, he just produced a record on a band called BWB. I don't know if you know about them. BWB, Norman Brown, Kirk Whalum, and Rick Braun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Rick Braun. It's my brother right there. Kirk Whalum. Kirk Whalum, oh my God. I remember as he was talking about Maurice White that I actually got to meet Maurice White the one and only time when I came to one of Kirk's sessions in Los Angeles and Maurice was sitting there getting ready to sing backgrounds on Kirk Whalum's record. And it was incredible, incredible. And I think we can all agree that Earth, Wind and & Fire and Maurice's music has been such a big part of all of our lives. And I think if we're totally, totally honest, we can all agree that some of the best sex we've ever had in our life might have been to that very song. Folks, we've been on the boat enough days, nothing leaves here, okay? So I'm gonna do a song now. See, the power of Earth, Wind, and Fire goes on and on and on, and I did a version of one of my favorite Earth, Wind, and Fire songs, Shining Star. And because it's such a great song, it went to number one. And, and that's, that's the kind of music that we're talking about tonight. So can we do that for you right now? Okay, let's do it.
That's so fun. Are you all having as much fun as we are? Yeah. So we're having an amazing time here. Uh, what is this? <laughs> no? Looks like a medical apparatus. There's a hose on that thing. I wanna, I wanna, please, please, a big round of applause because this next man is so talented. He's one of our dearest friends in the whole world. All of your dearest friends. He's such a great guy and such a talented musician. Put your hands together for Mr. Peter White.
for this band and singers. You are one funky guy. Yeah, tell the story. That song came out in 1982. I loved that song so much, and especially the horns. I actually went out and bought a trumpet. I used to play when I was a kid. So I thought, wow, I want to play along with Earth, Wind & Fire. How much fun can this be? How, how hard can that be? I put the trumpet to my lips when I got home. I realized how difficult it was and how much it hurt. So they've all gone. But I admire these guys for playing horns that loud and that high because I put the trumpet away and I stuck to the guitar. <laughs> but I got my wish. I got to play Earth, Wind & Fire. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Peter Weitz. Is everybody having as much fun as we are? I sure, I sure hope you are. Because this is a great night. So great. So great. And the music is what drives us. Because uh, we had this idea, as Pat said at the beginning of the show, we had this idea to do this show about a year ago. And what's interesting, you may not know this, but tonight we're doing this show twice. We worked at rehearsals and today we put the show together for three hours in this room, two to five p.m. We were all sequestered in here and working on the show. We'll do it twice. Hold on one sec, just one sec, you guys. Just one sec. Um, we didn't rehearse that part. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Been wise guys. Anyway, uh, where was I? I was, you know, this is my problem now. I can't remember what I'm doing. I've had a collective four hours of sleep the last six days. Oh yeah, two shows, that's right. So we're gonna do this show twice. <laughs> and then we will never do it again. That's what's so special about the cruise though, is that this is something that we put together just for these cruises. And when you talk about the catalog of Earth, Wind & Fire, it makes it very, very easy. Because these songs are so great. But you have the originals in your head. The challenge is for us as instrumentalists and singers, how do we do something and take the original and be faithful to it and take it to a new place without sort of bastardizing it? And hopefully, I think you got some wonderful artists on this stage recreating and reimagining these songs and making them fresh again. And that is the genius, the brilliance of Maurice White. And I will tell you that we, it was my plan and we were working on this hard to have uh, the members of Earth, Wind & Fire join us as a surprise for this show. Uh, but then, uh, as uh, Pat said, we, we uh, suddenly lost the great Maurice White and uh, unfortunately that idea went out the window. But I think that they would be very, very happy with this show. I have a feeling that they would be happy with the music that's happening on this stage. Tonight is a night where if you talk about the music of Earth, Wind & Fire, you can't avoid playing this song, and that would be the cue. Just <laughs> Sit your ass down is what you just said to me, right? Stop talking and play the saxophone. So, we wanna, <laughs> we wanna dedicate this song to the memory of Maurice White. 
wherever he is, we want to send this out to him because he had this vision of this band that wasn't a white band or an African-American band or a funk band or an R&B band or a pop band. It was an every person band. Everybody who went to that show or listened to those records, no matter who you were, he related to the music and the energy of it. And he had this vision of unity. I learned an awful lot from Maurice White, just from his ability to see something that was very hard to see amidst all the muck of the world. But he saw it, and he put that vision into every single thing that he did. So we're gonna send this out with a lot of love and gratitude to Maurice White for the gift that he gave us with all the great music that will never be forgotten. Here is After the Love Is Gone.
Cologne. Melanie Taylor. Ashling Biscuit Cole. And John Stoddart. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, doing an amazing arrangement of Can't Hide Love. And it can only come from a man named Huge Groot. If I didn't give a big shout out to Raymond Tisdale up there He had a huge hit with the song I loved it so much It's no appropriate to pay respect to him as well too You guys ready for a little fun tonight?
Here's a line Trotman. Let's get a line back out here. Setting up some special gear. Guess who's coming next too? Miss Sheila E. Come on, Sheila E. Vincent and Gala, you back there too? Don't be shy, guys. Come on out. And welcome to the stage, Larry Graham, y'all. Let's get this party, keep it going, man. Get in the high gear. So I know we're having a good time tonight. Are you all ready? You know we're about here. Are y'all ready to go up here? Oh no, I don't think they're ready. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think they're ready. I, I, we're here now, we're here now. Are, are you ready to go here?
not gonna kill us. Wind and fire.